Heavenly Father, we are so grateful today to be able to honor this uh, beautiful picture that you again have put together. But we recognize that you are at this very foundation, that without you we wouldn't even be here today. You've created marriage, you've put Josh and Hannah together. And so God, we come to celebrate that. Would you be glorified in this ceremony? And we'll give you all the praise, for it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. started by God, make sure you end with God. I remember the first time that I met Josh. I'll never forget it. I think everybody remembers the first time they meet Josh. And uh, it's the week, about a week before, uh, Hannah had been over at my wife and I's house. She had spent some time and we were, I'm going to share it, Hannah. And we were praying about this very thing. Could God really give me somebody? Could it be possible that God would answer that prayer? I, I don't know if God could do that for me. About a week goes by and I'm trying to lay my floors and I realize that I need to not be doing that. And so I decided I would put down my pride and I would go out as at my daughter gymnastics and I would uh, try to find somebody to do just that, help me finish the floors. I took up the HomeAway app, decided I would do a little skip of the phone pushed the button and it called none other than Mr. Josh. Josh picks up the phone, we landed a phone call. Next thing you know, he's in my house and I'm talking to him. I, my goal was to see if he would get saved. Little did I know, he was saved. God had other plans, didn't he? God had other plans that day. And long story short, here we are today. You see, God did a miraculous thing that day and we need to continue to make sure that we never forget that. Marriage is a journey and your vows last a lifetime. You will fail God, you will fail each other. But I challenge you, by God's grace, don't quit. Don't quit. Who gets to say it's too soon to be falling for you? Cause I've heard of things like this before but didn't know dreams still came true who gets to say we're not right that it won't work you and i because as long as it's worth fighting Anna, in fairy tales a uh, perfect woman usually falls in love with a near perfect man who is perfect hair he has 90 minutes to get the girl and to take her to his castle and live ha happily ever after so that they can go live a perfect life together well, guess what? This may come as a surprise, but I'm not a perfect man. <laughs> and I don't have a castle. Our story, has been, our story hasn't been so simple, and our lives won't be as easy, but it'll be far more beautiful. To be honest, I'm grateful we aren't perfect. Loving someone or something that's perfect is easy. And easy doesn't challenge the lover to be better. It doesn't leave friction uh, of the challenge to prove love. In the same way that God's love to us is all the more awesome because we are sinners and not perfect, so also will our lifelong, infinitely tested and proven commitment to each other be so much more beautiful. As a side note, because I'm imperfect and defective, it makes the fact that you made it all the way to the vows even more significant. So, because we made it this far, I promise my eyes will remain on you. My heart will long for you only, I will continue to seek God's wisdom for our lives daily. I will be strong with gentleness. I will do what is best for us, and even when it's not easy for us. At last, while I don't believe in fairy tales, we'll promise you a happily ever after. I promise you today, I will love you happily ever after.
This day has seemed like a distant dream for so many years. I can't even put into words how thankful and blessed I am that you were the one God was preparing me for. Going through the waiting seemed so lonely and frustrating and even made me doubt God and what he was doing in my life. Now that I stand on the other side, looking back, I would do it all again because I know that it brought me to you. Josh, I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to continue and grow in my walk with God, to pray for you daily, that he will help you lead me and Lord willing our family one day. I promise to be faithful and loyal to you with my heart, mind, and actions. I promise to be a loving wife, to encourage and build you up, and I promise to give you my whole heart for the rest of my life. Don't wait for it.